so now let's go over to the Ringway Gospel Center of the Assemblies of God Church, where a Thanksgiving service is being held in honor of the Chief Justice, uh, okay. Theodora Wood, and Mamavi is standing by with uh, Justice Duche. And Justice Elam Duche is a Justice of the Supreme Court. Uh, good morning to you. Yeah, and I will be here. Yeah. In the La traditional council, the Osu court was in Osu Manchester Palace. Then the Jamestown court was in Jamestown Manchester Palace. So with the construction of the 34 courtrooms, which house all the now 42 courtrooms, who put together all the high courts, then the other courts have been free for these other courts, which were in rented premises in the traditional councils, to move into. So you can see that she has really lifted the infrastructural projects in the judiciary, not only in Accra, but across the length and breadth of the country. Mm. What would you miss about her? Well, she has an appetite for fine details and hard work. And when she gives an assignment, she will insist on you completing within the expected timeline. Sometimes she will put pressure on you. And uh, I like her for one thing, she will never take an offense when you suggest something which she doesn't share the, that uh, vision. She will look at it and sometimes she will change her mind after considering your your proposal. I would say that she is always consultative. She consults, and if she is in the minority from the beginning, she can change to your side when it comes to implementation. Mm. She always evaluates before she takes a decision. Mm. She has been a mother, a friend, a colleague, and a confidant. Th thank you. Hi, Mom. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Um, congratulations, you're retiring today as Thank well, you. and it happens to be your birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, what would the you birthday miss? I share with uh, Justice Jones. Duche. Yes. <laughs> so what would you miss about not being CJ? I don't think I'll miss anything. <laughs> I'm uh, perfectly wired uh, to live a life on retirement, so I'm fine. So what would you be doing? I do not know. <laughs> I'll think through it much more carefully than saying something now. Mm -hmm. what, what is it that you want us to remember you for, as CJ? Who? As I, sorry. You're welcome. I don't know. Ask him. He'll <laughs> tell you. <laughs> but congratulations and happy Thank birthday. You very much. What, what's the perfect b uh, birthday gift? I hear you love hymns. And anthems and chorales. Okay. Mm. Well, what is that perfect birthday gift that I can get you? Ask Jones. <laughs> He'll tell you. He'll but tell what you. is your gift to him, though? To him? Yes. Hmm, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the birthday lady right there, the Chief Justice, who is retiring today. Uh, have, you've served well. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, that's uh, Justice Georgina Theodora Wood, who is uh, retiring and celebrating her 70th birthday today. Uh, you are a pastor, associate pastor of this oh, mm -hmm. okay. of the Ringway Gospel Centre. How long have you known uh, the Chief Justice? So many years. <laughs> For years. <laughs> she's a member of this local church. Yeah. And she's a mother, a mom in all of us love. A woman, I would say, is a go with a godly character. A woman with integrity. A woman who loves the Lord and he fears the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the things of God, she doesn't joke with it. With all 10 years in office, she never. There's no day a day that you will not be in church, both evening service and then in the Sunday services. She's always here. So what's that big birthday party? What's the plan for today? Today we have just short service, thanking the Lord on her behalf for the 70th year old uh, birthday, thanking God and then thank, uh, praying for her, for God to sustain her and move on. All right. Thank you very much, Seba. What's your name, please? I'm Reverend Benjamin Tete. And God bless you. God bless you too, Reverend Tete. So on behalf of the senior pastor, the entire church, 
of Ringway Gospel Center. We wish our mommy happy, happy birthday. God bless you. Definitely. And I feel like saying on behalf of you, Roland Walker, and the AM Show crew, we want to wish uh, Madame Georgina Theodora Wood a really, really happy birthday today. Uh, she's our first female Chief Justice, the longest uh, that we've had, really. And it's her 70th birthday today on a day that she's also retiring. She's done many, 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 many things things and she will be remembered for a lot of things. So we're in church today. AM show is in church, Roland Walker. I am sitting through the church service and I will see you again just before we close the show. Well, thank you, Mama Vy. I'm not surprised. The way you looked today, I knew that you were coming up with something and dearly this was it. Well, we wish um, uh, Justice or the Chief Just the former Chief Justice, I should say, uh, Theodore Woods, all the best of um, uh, luck in her new states of life, uh, becoming the ex-chief justice. It's how we're going to refer to her. Uh, former chief justice. Yes, former chief justice. And she's going to be a member of the Council of State. Wow. Ah, yes. I think there is a space created yeah, for former chief justice. That's even yeah. more profound. And there was none. And so we uh, didn't have a, a, former, a, for, a, a living, living, a living, uh, a, a, living. A, servant, yeah. a survivor. Yeah. A living, a living. Automatic. Survivor. Yeah. That's yeah. good. I think she deserves it, if I you ask me. So. Mm. What do you so. think about her contribution to the judiciary and um, justice over the period of her reign? It might be very difficult for me to comment because I, 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 have, I don't have too much knowledge of what was there before uh, and, and what she has achieved. But just listening to, 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 to her colleague, Justice of the Supreme Court, uh, he seems to be praising her to the high heavens. Yeah. I think one, one thing that would be a good measure is how your own colleagues, uh, or what your own colleagues think about you. Uh, um, when you live and with people, when you work with people, uh, they, are your be they, they should be your best uh, uh, reference. Uh, from what he's saying, uh, if that is, that is what all the other justices of the Supreme Court and the people that work in the Judiciary uh, uh, Service would say about it, then I think that she really did well. I mean, you can't, you can't use the word of one person to, to generalize, but I, I, like, I'll, I'll reiterate that uh, your best reference is not, is not people who live outside of you, but it's people that you live with, people that you work with. If your colleagues say that you are a good person, mm. you have done well, then... Uh, it's deservedly it so. Is, yeah, it is deservedly so. Well, um, you know, I've had uh, the chance to interact with the justice delivery system a few times. And uh, I've had the chance to uh, be present at the, at the meeting where she, she was as well. Uh, as... Uh, the then convener for the Forum for Governance and Justice. Remember, I had brought a case against the Association of Judges and Magistrates for uh, taking action against some four lawyers <coughs> who make statements that they believe suggested that uh, we were impugning that there was corruption in the justice delivery system. So as part of uh, the process of dealing with that, you know, I, I got to sit at a meeting uh, with her. But I've also observed her from far. And I think that, uh, by and large, we can agree that uh, she gave her best to, to her country. Uh, the fact that uh, she was the first female uh, chief justice that uh, uh, we ever got, and now we have a second one in itself, is historic. So at least it's a source of inspiration for all our young girls to understand that if they apply themselves fully in their areas of uh, academic and or professional interests, they can also excel to the, the highest pedestal in, in their areas uh, of work. Uh, she presided o over some very interesting developments in this country, which, whether she likes them or not, will be part of her legacy. Quite clearly, the issue of the uh, electoral petition, a historic event, uh, and I think that uh, when uh, she was empaneling the justices to say there was a lot of debate about whether it should be 9 or 11 and all of that. But I thought that at the end of the day, uh, you 
who it went well, and uh, certainly she can take the credit because she was the head of uh, that that in institution. Mm -hmm. And more recently, to what uh, the Anas uh, expose, uh, quite clearly confirming what some of us had suspected that uh, there was uh, corruption in the justice delivery system. I didn't have she proof. she uh, took the needed action uh, on the basis of. Uh, what came from the office of the president, President Mama, and I think that that too has somewhat brought back some level of, you know, respect within the context of the justice delivery system. Because I mean, we all agree that there were some challenges, but so so all of these certainly should be remembered for all of these and many other things that. Uh, uh, you know, she has superintended over. So I wish her well, and I think that going to the Council of State, she would continue to apply herself fully to give off her best to, to uh, her nation. Uh, she's had many years of experience, and I have no doubt that she will continue to, to contribute. But I'm hoping that she wouldn't give up uh, her signature program where she mentors young girls. I think uh, every year she holds a, a workshop uh, for them, and I think that that uh, would be a project that yeah. I would want her to hold on to and perhaps even expand. Yeah, I, I, I also wish her well. Um, um, she has had opportunity, and I, I think that she, she has acquitted herself creditably. Creditably, I, I wish her a good retirement. Uh, she, I think she becomes a member of the Council of State. She's seventy years. She's seventy years. Okay. I think she becomes a member of the Council of State automatically. Uh, she uh, and. Uh, uh, I wish her uh, four very interesting years ahead of her. Uh, may they advise His Excellency the President well so that uh, the benefits from, from her previous life will impact on governance so that all of us will become a happy nation. Okay.